Hello, everyone. Welcome to day two of our challenge. I'm so excited to see you again. It's another day, another beautiful day. It's a blessing. Any day above the ground is a blessing. Uh, today is all about like, you know, just a quick review about diabetes. Uh, it's, I call it Diabetes 101. Um, if you really learn um, about diabetes, there are so many videos that I made in the past. You can go back and view those videos and you will get uh, a better understanding and a detailed information about diabetes, the causes, signs and symptoms, and everything that you need to know about diabetes. So before we go ahead and start, um, we're going to do our thing. I can and I will manage my diabetes. My diabetes is not gonna stop me from doing the things I love to do. I can and I will manage my diabetes and live a healthy and a happy life. I can and I will manage my diabetes and I will live a healthy and a happy life. Thank you so much for um, doing that. So, So what's diabetes? Diabetes is a chronic um, health condition that occurs either when the pancreas does not work um, or when it doesn't produce enough insulin. So when that happens, um, sugar start building up in our body. Um, every carbohydrate that we eat converts into glucose and glucose is the fuel that our body uses to, you know, to do what it's supposed to do. All the muscles needs the glucose, Everything in our body needs to needs glucose because as the car needs a fuel, our body needs glucose. And the carrier um, that takes the glucose from the bloodstream to different parts of our, you know, our organs and our body is insulin. So when that insulin production is affected, either by no production or not enough production, um, there would be like a buildup of glucose in our bloodstream. So high blood sugar uh, is a common effect of uncontrolled diabetes. And over time, it can lead us to damage to many of the body systems, especially the nervous and the blood system, because that's where it gets stored. As you see on the picture, uh, you see those little white dots. Those are the sugar molecules. And um, the red ones are the red blood cells. Of course, this, the whole cylinder thing is the blood vessel. And that's the normal blood glucose. We see only a few of them here and there. And here it comes on the other side. You see that so many white molecules, there are, those are glucose. So this is a high blood glucose um, in the bloodstream. That is because you know, the, either there is no insulin uh, production on that person's body, the pancreas, or there's not enough insulin production. Um, so what happens? When we have this match of glucose in our bloodstream, Eventually what happens, the blood start getting thick because now it's like an excess thing. So blood, you know, blood sugar in the, in the blood, in the blood, um, the capillaries in the vessels. So when the blood gets thick, things gets harder to pass through the blood vessels and especially the small blood vessels, the capillaries. And uh, because of that, they start getting like, you know, that will start break. It will break and it will break, it will break eventually, like, you know, it gets damaged and the blood carries like an you know, oxygen. So if there is not proper like, you know, channel of the blood cannot pass through that, those capillaries because they are broken now, which means blood cannot get to where it needs to get. And on the top of that, if the blood cannot get to where it needs to get, what happens is um, there would be no oxygenation, no oxygenation, things will start dying. That's why it's so important to get our blood glucose under control. That's why I call this session Diabetes 101. If you don't take anything else from this, just make sure like, you know, that excess blood glucose is the reason that many of the blood vessels gets affected and broken. And eventually they can't carry blood, they can't carry oxygen and things will start dying. And that's how we, um, that's the reason that we, encounter with uh, different types of diabetes complication. So keep it under control, keep it under um, normal range of blood glucose. So to just cover, there are about like seven or eight types of, uh, you know, eight types of diabetes as drawn based on the current research. 
but I'll just cover the most common ones. So there is like type one, type one used to be called juvenile diabetes, but now like, you know, uh, that's not only the kids, it's just adults will get it too. Type two is uh, accounts, like you know, the large number of uh, the large percentage of the diabetes is about 90% of uh, the people who has diabetes is type two. And the third one is gestational diabetes that happens when um, a woman who never had like, you know, diabetes in the past gets that, you know, gets diagnosed with diabetes while, um, while she's pregnant. And the fourth one is pre-diabetes. Pre-diabetes, you know, happens before type one and type two. Usually type one, um, you don't even see pre-diabetes because it happens so quick. And pre that type two, you see pre diabetes for a while before they convert. So um, when your healthcare provider tells you you have pre diabetes, uh, take it seriously and make sure you take care of it before it converts into a type two, because there is a higher chance to convert type you know pre diabetes before it turns into type two diabetes. Uh, so what is the action plan for today? Because as I said, every day, we're going to take five minutes um, to like, you know, to do something, help us build new habits and understand our diabetes better. So for today, the action plan is, you know, what type of diabetes do you have? The reason being is knowing what type of diabetes you have can help you to understand how to manage your diabetes. Let's say if you're type one, um, you have to manage it with insulin and there nowadays there's an insulin pump and other ways of um, like an you know, immense of taking insulin to your body. If you're a type two, like, you know, it will help you how to manage it is it because you're taking your pills in a timely manner, your diets and everything. So knowing what type is really important. And the other good news is like, you know, when you know what type of diabetes you have, it will help you give you the understanding because some types of diabetes are reversible, not all. Uh, type one, and of course, there's always a miracle. It can, it can reverse on its own um, by God's grace. But type two, it has a higher chance of um, reversing as long as you follow your healthcare provider's advice, taking your medication, eating right, losing weight, doing the good things. It has um, a higher chances of you know, getting reversed. So like, you know, know your diabetes, work with your healthcare provider, find out all your lab works, which we're going to cover for the next couple of days. And um, that will be it for the day. So knowledge by itself is not going to give us the transformation. Take the action, find out what type of diabetes you have. Thank you so much for listening. And I will see you tomorrow. And I can and I will manage my diabetes. My diabetes is not going to stop me from living the life I want to live. Um, thank you so much again. Have a great and blessed day.